Hi everyone and welcome to Arat Tries 38 I believe, I'm not sure, <laughs> I believe it is. It's a scorcher today, I'm recording this on Sunday the 31st of May, it's been well over 28 degrees here, I've got my little desktop fan on because it's that hot, it's cool because it's desktop powered so groovy. <laughs> So today we'll be trying these new McFitties digestives slices. So basically it's a biscuit, a McFitties biscuit, but in a, like a slice, a cake type slice. I don't know how they've managed to do this, but hey ho, you might have seen them advertised on the TV already, who knows. Um, I'm recording this nearly at half eight at night because I'll I, it was impossible to record it any earlier because it was far too hot. There were tons of people outside, so even with the windows closed, you would have heard them. So many cars going by as well, and the room was so hot, and the sun was blaring in. I thought I'll wait until a little more later in the evening to try these, where it's slightly cooler, but there's still some light. So I hope the lightning levels are fine, and because there's not much traffic now, not many people out, then I'm hoping you won't hear too much background noise so here we go so enough jibber jabber so let's start with my least favourite I'm looking forward to this is Marmite on Toast so let's open these up and give them a try now I'm not going like, to eat the whole bloody slice because um, I want to get through these as quickly as possible so that's what they look like, a little miniature like bar thing and I'm hoping these are going to be fine as well because they've been in my cupboard for a while and um, they might be uh, a bit on the old melty side but um, a little bit but not too much so yeah it looks like a, like a caramel shortcake doesn't it? I'm not going to smell it since it's a, it's a cake slice there'd be no point so here we go so this smells it anyhow to be fair I'm glad I did because I can smell the marmalade a bit now I'm not a lover of marmalade so I hope that these, I'll be alright with these, so here we go. Verdict, passing the crowd. Number three. Passing the crowd. Nothing special. Can't hardly taste the marmalade. So yeah so let's get on to the next one cherry bakewell i hope i'm going to be a bit more enthusiastic about this since i do like cherry i'm quite partial to cherry so let's give it a go shall we so let's open the bad boy up I might as well smell it i can smell this cherry actually as well mm, it's quite pleasant so here we go Mmm, mmm, yeah, mmm, mmm, yeah, I like that, mmm, I can definitely get behind that, mmm, mmm, oh yeah, I like that one, mmm, well, could be number one contender there for, mmm, so let's get on to the third and final, strawberries and cream. Like I said, I'm trying to get through these as quickly as possible because it's still quite hot and I don't want them to melt, like melt away into nothing, so like they disintegrate kind of thing. So this is strawberries and cream. Shut that out over there. I should have showed a little button of some, the cherry bear call already, oh, well, shouldn't I? So that's the cherry bear call on, you know, just to keep it the same, this is the stories and cream, let's get dig into this, I'll, I'll be making another video straight after this, uh, kind of a channel, another channel update, I might do a channel update, I don't know, so, oh yeah, you can definitely smell the strawberry.
Hmm. Yeah, all right, but not much strawberry. It's not winning me over very well. Hmm. Bit disappointing, really. So, I've had to choose my least favourite. It'd be the marmot on toast, followed by the strawberries and cream. But the number one is definitely the cherry bread. Well, I don't normally do this, but I thought, what the hell? I'm gonna put all three of them in my gob at once, since there's only a little bit left. Of, and I shouldn't really do this, but I might regret it. But there you are. So let's put the marmite in marmite marmalade in first. I don't know how that works on fire. I'm sorry about that one. It's the right odd sort of mixed when you have all three of them together. But quite nice. So yeah. Forever Cherry Bertwell. Least forever. Marmalade on toast. Now you can get these from all major supermarkets, so they're in plentiful supply. They're probably on like a this like special display at the end of of an aisle. So keep a lookout. If not, they'll be down the biscuit aisle, and imagine not probably down much. Probably some supermarkets like to display them on the biscuit aisle, and some like to display them down the cake aisle. You know the birthday cakes and the. Um, the Mr. Kipling crap like that. So yeah, overall, okay. Uh, special love the cherry bear quail. The others not so much. So stand by for the next rat tries. Which I have no idea what's gonna be. <laughs> well I do actually, but I'm not telling you. It's gonna we'll go back to snack. If I drink chocolate now we're going back to snack. So stay tuned for that. So for now, I'll see you later. Bye!